spit the real shit. Ask my whole team to bring your words to life. HK, HK on the street. Of course, I'm HK, your host, and today we are sitting here with the Jays. Jay Hatwick. Jay Gray or Jay. the Utter Jay. Uh, and the Utter Jay. Uh, and I'm Fat Jay. Fat Jay. <laughs> that Small T, large hat. Of Gravy Brewing. <laughs> And today we're sitting in, what do we call this? The, this is the pub. The pub? The, the yeah. bat house? The, the uh, uh, actually, Gravy Gardens. Gravy Gardens, yeah. okay. It's, it's yeah. the pub. Gravy the private Gardens. Pub. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, yeah. Let, me, uh, <laughs> let me do just a quick pan. It's full of all kinds of weird stories and... Everything has a story. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. So, all right. Bam, we're back. Um... So yeah, so with this episode, um, I want to I wanted to sit down with the guys, um, n- known these guys for a little while. I actually yeah. found the picture of the day. Sent it to me the other day. Yeah, yeah. We we first met. Um, yeah. uh, I was at Full Circle. These guys had just won. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they just won. Uh, Who's the mall rat? Yeah, yeah. the mall rat. Tadis Koa, Tadis Koa, Tadis competition. Yeah. We go there with some beer. Going to share it with Nate. Yeah. And you were there. You were there. We approached your table, and we were like, I was there with it. I don't know who. And oh, you guys walked man. up. Yeah. And hey, we had a keg with a pigtail no, on it. No, you didn't have it yet. <laughs> they, they walked up, and they introduced themselves. I could tell they had been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. And Still and bad. they said okay. they said you want to taste some beer, and we were already in a brewery, <laughs> so we were like, okay. Yeah. We might have yeah. said, do you want to taste some award winning beer? beer? You might have said, probably, maybe. Probably. Might have there, said there, was, there was a, we're just coming off a win. Yeah. Come on, I mean, we were like, and, uh, um, so <laughs> we were like, right. yeah, sure, why not? And we'll be right back. And you walked out and came back with the keg. They walked in the keg with their keg. <laughs> Into full circle with a yeah. little pigtail, little pigtail. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that is right. Yeah. We were so so stoked about like just like I mean that was our second that was in the a row second win. win. Yeah, and and we were just like head over hills, and then you know the the staff at full full circle we knew they're just down the street, and we kind of done that same thing with the the year before yeah. with the uh, juicy guy crazy. And so it was just like let's let's do this, and so naturally we we went back. I think maybe it was a GC got crazy. I think it was like I think it was that first year where we walk in, kind of do the same thing, right? Just like walk up to a random table and just have a great time. Yeah, and and that's just that's where a little bit of going in kind of weird <laughs> like that, uh, which is it, it's fun for us because we get to meet people. And uh, but yeah, the first first thing I mean we're in there an hour and serving all these tables and having a really good time and then all of a sudden the lights go way down and we're like what's going on and we turn around in the on the stages um <laughs> we walked into like a burlesque night burlesque so dance. is that what it was yeah. yeah i was like oh um i remember that night i gotta go yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 so it's it pretty funny i yeah. want to sit down with the guys and uh kind of bring that experience to you and um look at that that's a little, uh, it's so, a little, little heady. We're gonna talk also, about that. You guys, you guys been around uh, for a while. Um, a lot of people still may not know. I don't know. Um, I've been uh, when when I started doing the stuff at Spoke. Uh, we, we were talking about this before. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, um, I press play. Um, is you know I had I had a thing in my head that I wanted to do and I wanted to hook up with other breweries yeah. and and do this. Just kind of talk and see what you know what what they're going through backstory what you know what you know i want you guys to let them know who you are and uh um yeah i was sitting at spoke and uh doing a thing with the guys because they were really the only ones that uh hit me up and they're like dude let's do an episode and next you know we started rolling out episodes and then that's when it came back up and and, uh jacob says why don't you go anywhere else and dude it's everything's closed then he says Mm-hmm. You could still go and do episodes like you do here. Yeah, right. and I was like, oh, so I was like, yes, let That's me true. Okay. hit you up. So um, <laughs> I know you guys had a couple releases, uh, but I, before we go into your past, I do want to say something. Uh, I've been sipping on this. I don't know what it is yet. Um, and my first thought, it's I, I feel like I'm drinking uh, Barrel Age Sticky Monkey. 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank is, you. This is where we're going. This is uh, you know. Um, yeah. Wow. And I mean, that's not that's not far off. We um, we've had some friends over there, and and uh, it's a long history with uh, some Fire of the Firestone Walker, Walker yeah. not only breweries uh, or brewers, but uh, early access to their barrel age program and just understanding what it is that they do. Uh, none of them have actually said that here's how you do it all, but uh, we just kind of like over a really long period of time we've we've done this particular beer for a long time and, uh, and then five years yeah and uh, and then barrel aging it and <laughs> and securing proper barrels and stuff uh, we we have I mean this our this whole line this whole this whole month December is our first barrel age release to the public of all the stuff we've been storing for a year while. Yeah. and we uh, prior to that was all of our humber stuff which we kind of guzzle down and share with friends on our own right mm-hmm. you know and it's kind of what it even got us into the incubator well, was some of that stuff yeah before they got into the incubator uh, that's um what you guys would do from what i remember is you, you would just you guys have been brewing beer <laughs> like a brewery yeah. but you either drinking it or you're sharing it you know yeah. and that's fantastic yeah. you know um um I know a lot of places, like I believe Hen House started off the same way, mm-hmm. but they started just selling kegs to distributors, and that's how they kind of built up their deal. Mm-hmm. You guys just start. You guys just shared it. Yeah, we shared. We shared a lot. We would brew and pay for all the stuff ourselves, and we found out this like great little uh, non-profit kind of niche. We're like, okay, so. As homebrewers, we can donate to nonprofits. We would go do Moravia stuff. We do yep, yep. all these little pop ups. Uh, uh, Jay's Pops, like, hooks up with the trailer, like, all kinds of really neat background. But we would get day licenses through nonprofits <laughs> and help uh, some of those, like, locally in, in need the most. And, and really, that's how we got our public platform started before we even, like, considered pro. We were totally happy, just like, hey, we're going to. Continue. I mean, like this cost, sure, but it's it's our tithe to the community, and it goes to other other uh, veins and avenues. So we still have a profit, nonprofit uh, um, uh, spectrum to to our beers. Uh, we we still kind of do those veins, but as homebrewers, that's sort of like what got our sort of public knowledge a little bit ahead of time. Well, that, I mean, it started our fan base in a sense. It, it, I mean, yeah. supporting nonprofits, especially out at Moravia and with uh, Fulton Street Coffee and and others of the like. Um, Lana, like we, it just yeah, allowed right. us as homebrewers to share our beer with the public in a way that was legal. Mm-hmm. I mean, we actually thought about licensing this pub, but then I'm thinking, gosh, I, I, I can't. It's not zoned correctly, yeah, and yeah. really, do I want people coming to my home? Yeah. yeah. So that didn't work. But then I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the few of the special, <laughs> but um, goodness gracious, I mean, and, and you mentioned Hen House, and yeah. they yeah. shared yes. a brewery with Petaluma Hills mm-hmm. up in Petaluma, and I don't know mm-hmm. if you knew this, but that's my hometown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Petaluma, and so that is actually the inspiration for this beer. I yeah. mean, Hen House inspired me to do an oyster shell stout. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and so, yeah. so one of the other. Not a fan of oyster stouts, but one of the other one that I have had, and, I, and we talked about this in the last time I was here, is uh, the one I've had, had that I was like, wow, yeah. I, I could possibly drink that other than yours. <laughs> yeah, was the hen house one. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's one of the styles. Like, like back in the day, our, I mean, our first like uh, uh, homebrew competition, like we. We pull out the scene. I go, I eat, eat my face off out at like Hog Island or whatever with my sister and her friends. I bring this back and Jay and I are like sitting there with all these shells. And I'm like, dude, so I spend a lot of time like reading about the East Coast. Like they have this oyster thing going on. It adds like some calcium. It adds a little bit of salinity to a beer. It does this with the water, chemistry, blah, 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 blah. And then we're like, hey, let's, let's give it a go. Let's do it. So we, I mean, we saw the photo, like are dumping like forty pounds of shells or whatever it was into this 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 boil kettle, and then it came out and, and finished, and we uh, were like, "This is really good. This yeah. is this 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 is this is fun." So and then and then there's the the idea, like when you enter that in a competition, and people are like, 
is that what we, well, that was it going to taste year. like oyster is? Oh. Like, no, yeah. it isn't. But, but, but that was the right. first year Ben Como was at their homebrew competition. Yeah. So we'd been brewing together for uh, probably two, three years at that time, yeah. which is now five oh. years ago. Oh. Yeah, wow. We're like, yeah. let's do the oyster shell stout, which was just a stout at that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like he was saying, people were like, Ooh, yeah, oysters. Like, oysters. Ooh, does it I don't, taste I don't like, like the sound of that. I don't want to even taste it. So we, yeah. obviously we, we didn't get it first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. and you know who won the fan favorite that year? Year one was the two dudes. Oh yeah, so, zone, zone nine. nine. They eventually, yeah, zone nine. Oh, yeah, we took some notes from they, them. that. Was yeah. their uh, their peach? Yeah, okay. we found out that year that they had. Uh, like ten other beers on tap oh too. My <laughs> no. so. we, we learned so much from those guys. Yeah. And okay, so year two and three. Yeah, guess right. who won the fan favorite? Yeah, right. That, Great that happened. That happened. So. <laughs> you learn from the best. Yeah. So <laughs> let's let's talk about that. Um, so you you're from Pataluma. Yeah. Um, you've been here since I was seventeen. I came to uh, Fresno to play soccer at Fresno State. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're... I grew up... At, well, so I was, I was born and mostly raised in Fresno, but I did 12-year stint down in Santa Paula, Ventura area. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. So then um, you uh, you guys ended up here, mm-hmm. and were you guys brewing before? Yeah, oh, be- before story. we met. Yeah. Uh, Man, so, this is what we're here for. Well, it's cool. <laughs> uh, Jay, Jay more of the brew senior than, than I... But I, I started, like, my sister Thank you, sir. has, uh, she gets migraines with certain smells and flavors, and she's very selective on, like, what she can drink if she drinks. And um, it came down to cider, so I started out, like, making uh, English dry ciders for her. And, uh, and then eventually I had friends that uh, were like, hey, we should brew beer together. They had some beer background. Next thing you know, I got all this equipment in my garage because I'm the only one that has a garage. Everybody's living in our apartment. I started a group, right? And then they all move and I ended up inheriting all this equipment. And then I had beer bros, like, you know, they come on the day we brew, they help, they muscle, they clean, whatever. Um, then Jay and I, we, we kind of m- met. Uh, we we met at, we were both buying green at Big Comas for our brew days. And he kind of recognized me, and I kind of recognized him because we had shaken hands or whatever before. I was playing, uh, I have a background in some music, and, and so I was playing music at a, uh, a local church at the time. And uh, he's like, I, you're this guy. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. I make, I do percussion and drums and stuff. And he's like, <laughs> he's, okay, he's you like, make beer? He's like, uh, you make beer too. But yeah, you're right? a Christian guy. Yeah, I'm a Christian yeah, so, guy. You make beer? We, yeah, we, we should make beer wait, together. Do, yeah. so, Let's brew together. Then we just become best friends. Yeah. So, so check it out though. But his story, right? So I've been brewing. Yeah. Gosh, my, same, my, same. My, my, my mother-in-law, her husband, when they got married back in like 98, <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah. He got a, a brew in a box uh-huh. for his wedding I've gift, seen right? Yeah. And yeah. so so then the year later, 99, Kendra and I got married, and I've always loved beer. My dad, when I was a kid, brewed beer. I remember the whole proverbial, oh, the <laughs> bottles popping in the basement, and and then it was like... All the problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah, he right. made root beer, and then tried to make sugar-free root beer, and all the kids yeah. were pretending it was beer and drinking it, and I was like, oh, that's so great, but blah. So... <laughs> Gosh, it was, I think it was 15 years ago. Yeah. And so he had this brew in a box, and he's like, oh, you like beer. I want you to have this. Yeah. And so I'm like, that is so cool. So I was telling a patient at the time, I'm like, oh, my goodness, my, my stepfather-in-law just gave me this brewing beer in a box, and I'm so interested. He's like, dude, I, I'm, I'm Fresno, but I, I'm a chemist. <laughs> I just moved back from Washington and I brew beer. I, yeah. w- I will teach you. Yes. And I'm like, Thank you. well, I have to discharge you first because we can't hang out, you know, patient, yeah. client, you know, confidentiality. So sure enough, I discharge him and he comes over and it was just literally, I felt like a Padawan to Yoda. Yeah. And so I was like, ah. so he taught me like pure technique as though I was in a lab. And so as a home brewer, I feel really blessed in the sense of, like, probably you too. Uh, same. Yeah. I had Ben. Ben, ben taught like you. I was named Ben. Uh, so, that's not Darth Vader Ben. It's, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> or not like uh, uh, Ben. Uh, yeah, Kenobi. Uh, Kenobi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, whatever. Ben. Uh, Han thank, and Leia's son, Ben. Yes, thank you for clear running, because my all Star Wars fans hate me right now. Uh, 
Because I'm into it. Uh, anyhow, yeah. Anywho, not bad, Ben. But I'm gonna cut you off. So yes. we, we so I start brewing, and so I this all happened that first night. Yes, as well. Yes. As well. As well. Ah, what are we yeah. drinking? Crap. Goodness, we'll yeah. talk about that later. Yeah. So he's like, I will teach you, and I'm like, this is the way. Yeah. And so honestly, it was like I learned like chemistry lab technique from day one. Yeah. Nice. And so. I can count on my hand how many batches that I've thrown away. And for homebrewers, I would say it's all about technique. Mm-hmm. Technique, 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 technique. I still have my water profile sheet that Ben, ben gets that out of my tab. He's in yeah. the lab. And it's same, 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 same. Like, yeah. like, this is this. This is what you need to do for <laughs> this kind of beer. And, and it was the same thing. He's like, here's the sheet. Uh, we're gonna learn, right? And and yeah. so it, starting out that way because I was like clumsy and I just been making ciders and and I even made some of those root beers in my bathtub and they didn't explode. But uh, yeah, nice, um, nice, nice. I mean, they were in two liter bottles, so it's like almost impossible yeah. to explode one of those. But uh, yeah, yeah, same same thing. Like so we both had our yogas, right? And so we both had our crew. Literally, we would brew. I would yeah. brew, and I would have four or five guys. Bless them, I love them to death. Yeah. But they just would <laughs> actually. I will say, Paul, you, you're the man. You you yeah. helped out, and you've always been there. And, and my the crew guys like invested in our but, equipment, and yeah, yeah they all, it's like, like we're there. They yes. would sh- show up, and then like, oh, I've got to clean. Actually, oh, this is oh, this isn't what I thought. I, this is more cleaning. I'm like, yeah, dude. It's like when we had Andrew, my Andrew, oh. my Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Sorry, dude. Andrew, get Andrew thrown under the bus, bro. No, not thrown under the bus. <laughs> he comes over because he wants to be part of the experience. And He'll never come back. <laughs> he's like, I'm never coming back because all you did was make me clean. So that that so is that is about rude. being clean and about cleaning. So yeah. Yeah, we had our crew. He had his crew, and it was like this parallel story. And then we met at Ben Como's that right. day, yeah. and literally, it was like, dude, we should we should this. we should like, like hang out together once. And so that literally is history. So from then, we have been kind of yeah. the Jays. Pretty yeah, much every Jays. day, yeah. yeah. We, we brewed one time, and, and we looked at each other at the end of the day, and we were like... That was the easiest brew I've ever done in at that time, Like, years. it was... Uh, and, and then since then, like, I don't I don't know what it is. Um, I think we understand each other's kind of... It was like if Walter White met Walter White. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. And, and you, don't talk, uh, 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 you might have to explain to me. Um... Uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Breaking Bad, it's he's a he's <laughs> a he's, saw an chemist. Yes. I know, I yeah, know. Yeah. He's a chemistry so, yeah. teacher yeah. Yeah. who starts making meth. Yeah. And he has to teach Jesse yeah. who, who was the spin off. Was it was the drug yeah. dealer. Right. And who started making meth, but you guys didn't have a Jesse, or you guys were the Jesse maybe, maybe, maybe we were in the, the beginning. Jesse. Right, right. And then be, yeah. you became Walter White, which was the teacher. And then yeah. you guys both were Walter White, and it was like two Walter Whites it was. It meeting was. up. And then it wasn't. There was no like. It got it serious just, weird points because we already we already created the. That recipe. was a little off. But yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's, <laughs> no, it's, 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 just, it's spot on. It, it just was one of those things where like the, our the only concern in a brew day was our playlist. It is crazy. <laughs> And then cranking it up, because like we're both keeping uh, clocks, and we both know if someone didn't oh, do something, someone got distracted. There, because there's... we are distractible, and we are. Yeah, yeah. Like his friend will stop in, all, mine will, What's and then up? we got each other's back. So this this thing is back symbiotic. Up yeah, we got timer. If I actually did got start timer it. back off, and so we just kind of like enveloped a system where I think we're both on the beer centric brewing side. And so, even if it's like ten seconds over the next edition, I'm like, "You got it, or I got it," and he's like, "You got it." I'm like, "Dunch," um, you know. So it's it's just one of those things where I, I think we so, just keep tabs and watch, and you know, so we're both focused on it, you know. For everyone, um, I mean, the newer craft beer drinkers, like mm-hmm. the last, I don't know, maybe five years, maybe mm-hmm. it's probably a little different. Sure. Um, but when you guys started brewing, there was a specific or certain brand or brewery mm-hmm. that got you there. That that oh, yeah. that Lots made you go like, Man. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, now I mean oh, now there's yeah. there's tons and so and, and most and most new yeah. uh, newer drinkers probably 
can't pinpoint what got them into craft beer. Yeah. But back back mm-hmm. in the days, uh, I mean, even ten years ago, mm-hmm. um, there yeah. wasn't that very. That, it was very hard. We had to like ten, uh, so, uh, ten years ago. We had to go like dri- we. I mean, we were drive to like Chico yeah. or wherever. So what yeah, got right. you? Oh, what got me? Gosh. Ooh. So I used to do these trips like to Portland. I used to do these trips up North Cal. Uh, I have like a brother-in-law that would get me things like the Alchemist Heady Topper, like when it was like old school. Um, I, I think all of that, and I, I just I, IPAs really set me off. Uh, early on, and, and even before Westies, that, because I mean, Westies, right. of Westies and yeah. traveling up and down the West Coast and getting all of it, you know, Stone, all of all of them, Firestone Walker. Uh, but even before that, like when I was like in '96, my first beer drinks, you know, I was at Body in the Bottom and learning everything about like European beers, <laughs> different styles, and Pilsners and their IPAs and. And having the smorgasbord that uh, John back then had uh, to us, and I would, he would make me stay sometimes because he wanted to teach me something new. And he knew I brewed, and I always brought my home brew. I bring my saisons. Mm-hmm. I was brewing Belgian beers and and stuff we don't like so gravitate you, to these days all the because, time. But because I mean, we'll get into this later. Yeah, but th- that that just isn't what's in right now. That's right. No. It's sad, but it's not. So and there's continue. some amazing ones. I mean, we were making stuff with saffron. We were yep. doing all these kind of crazy Belgian beers. Yep. And then we were bringing our own Westies and stouts and stuff. And so John, who was like, he, he kind of was acclaimed like the harshest critic and he'll never score anything before uh, above an eight. Uh, I earned an eight a couple of times. And, uh, but your homebrew? Nice. With homebrew, oh. yeah. Nice. Right, well right, done. homebrew. Well and so, uh, and and this is the guy that's bringing like things and and you from, know from 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 Europe, but like you see these little trinkets with the the, the tie on it uh, that comes from a very <laughs> solid background, right. like Celebrator. You know, you your know, little goat, the little lanyard. like goat lanyard trinket. So Celebrator, okay. uh, that that it always came with like a little um, what do you call? Uh, what do you call it? Like charm, like a, a charm. charm, like a lucky charm. You're like, I celebrator. Want that beer because of the little Every goat beer. on the and, lanyard. And so I had like, like a, a group of of that, you yeah. know, like of these little goats with the little thing. And the, every beer I bought is that was called celebrator. a gaggle of goats? I, it was no. a gaggle. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, but uh, not a gaggle. <laughs> so, you know, it's things like that. You you start kind of learning, and and you and John um, uh, is just completely full of knowledge. I just ran into him last month. He's still around. Remembers. Mm. Everything and just had a great night with him one 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 night, but um, that's where I got my initial kicks. That and BC's, so uh, BC's so, pizza, and then after that it was like uh, uh, Howie and Sons. They were the first one to do like Sierra Nevada tap takeovers, and so for and, most of us, real yeah. quick, uh, like I caught Body in the Bog at the very end. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, it was probably one of the first pubs. Yeah. In Legit. in in the yeah. area. Um, with not the first pub. Well, he's got an older one. Yep. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Molly. we'll get to it. I said one of the one, one of one of yes. yes. you're, you're proper. So, um, so what are you like? How old? I, I'm curious. So yeah, so it was it was like going to spoke, but mm-hmm. he had right. a ton of uh, old world. Old yeah. world beer, oh, old world. Man. right? And, and, and bourbon truly. barrel aged things and stuff before, yeah. like all I mean, that, all that stuff mainstream, right? And and we we pay royal for it, and and then like if never, he also if, did the uh, oh the draft, the, yeah, yeah. The, uh, while the uh, oh, English the, engine on occasion, yeah, yeah, um, and then he had things like old speckle, hand, old speckle which hand, I still love. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, uh, uh, ESB I, like when when it's around, yeah, when it's around, uh, you got to have the old speckle, yeah. Hand. I yeah. mean, I mean the the yeah. the newer craft beer drinkers probably oh, never heard of that stuff. Yeah, that's what we had. That BCs and uh, Howie and Sons, like those were our our three <clears throat> originals for me, except for Jay. So let's let's <laughs> let's hear what what was. Well, I will tell you the first craft beer that I probably ever had 
was when I was in uh, junior high, still up in Northern California. Oh, junior high. That's cute. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Oh, so, <laughs> so are we going up there? Well, or we're going up north. Okay. And I'll come back to Fresno. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. But you asked about okay, what, okay, got you go. what got me into beer. What got you there? Okay. What got me into craft beer? All right. So. <laughs> junior high. Yeah. Oh. Did so I just say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> he's wow. He took us back like. Uh, what are we like seventies now? What's his name? Whoa. In the, Actually, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> this is like 80s. the Goonies. <laughs> Where he tells them, tell us everything from the beginning. <laughs> it starts. Yeah. Well, it starts. Oh, he oh, says, well, I, yeah. <laughs> when I was three. Yeah. My mom used to put me to sleep <laughs> with nitro beer every night. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Stop it. All right. So, so, uh, so you you would done. have been a third generation dairyman from Sonoma County. And so, like Big J was saying, yeah. we had a cow that had a milk that people that were lactose intolerant could drink, believe it or not. It's true. Truly. Yeah. And it was special, but won't give you diarrhea. That's coming back to beer. So, (laughs) the first craft beer that I ever had, I would take. I I grew up in this one house on the farm, and then my grandfather built this house across the road for Mm -hmm. my dad, my mom, and all of us kids. But then these college kids moved in, and I was in junior high, so I thought these guys were like old. And they were drinking, and they are playing poker, and smoking cigars, and they'd pay me like 10 bucks to wash their car <laughs> once in a while. You know what? And playing wiffle ball out in the... In, but So, wiffle so ball. they had this, this cake. Ball, by the way. This, uh, this. No, it was actually in the driveway. <laughs> you know, asphalt. No, it wasn't asphalt. It was dirt. It's dirt. It's dirt. Wiffle. It's pasture ball. Whatever. So they had a <laughs> keg of beer, and I snuck over one night, and it ended up being um, Red Hawk Ale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mendocino, Mendocino, Brewing Mendocino Brewing Company. Company. Yeah. yeah. That was the very first craft beer. I had a, an old bottle. I filled it. Yeah. I found That's the cork. It's, it's right over I there. popped yeah, it, the right. cork in thinking I'll, I'll save it. That sign right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then I hid it in the creek under the bridge. <laughs> you hid it. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I, I tell you are the we, truth. Are we... Are, <laughs> Are we, oh are we in Stand By what Me that? right now? Is this a Stand By Me? Because <laughs> I'm going to go and get did it. You, did you grab it and then cross the bridge when a train was coming? Oh, my no, gosh. No, 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 no train. <laughs> and the unfortunate thing is when I went like a week later and popped it, of course it was flat, but I still drank it. Yeah. 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 But that to me was the first experience of craft beer. It was Mendocino Brewing Company, the Red Hawk Ale, and I was like, that's good. A berry I, bottle. I, but, in your, you know, of course I didn't you. like it. Yeah. Hilarious. So then I come to college, yeah. Fresno State. I'm 17, just barely turned 18. And what is just opened? Butterfields in the Tower District. Oh, yeah. 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 Or, what? Oh, okay. let's go. Like when Kevin was still oh, like Kevin, yeah. yeah. Kevin Jeff yeah. Wolpert. Yeah. Uh, Jeff. Even right. uh, Firestone Walker, Dougie, Dougie. Griffith yeah. is there yeah. as a server before he worked for Firestone Walker. Yeah. So my brother and I. Jeff, we, we uh, played soccer together. I was a freshman, he's a junior. I had his fake history. ID. History. History. Fresno. History, yeah. It was, but it was a but long that was the bit. first oh. craft brewery in town. Yeah. So the first, yeah. like, like pub. Yeah, I, I don't mean to leave out Butterfields. That was a big, a big, no, big it, no, thing. No, it was one of the. But it was the, yeah, right. Well, yeah. I'm going to take you back, though. Actually, probably the first non-craft beer, but, like, pub experience was Good Bodies. Oh, that's that's Maroa and goodness. Shields. Yeah, that's cool. so that's where I had my first shepherd's pie. Oh, I actually yeah. had yeah. Guinness on tap. Right. And if anyone went in there and said, "I'll have a course of Bud in me domestic in beer," me. what would they do? They would laugh. Yeah, right. They, 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 they... they would ring a bell, and say, "That guy ordered a course light." <laughs> yeah, you get mocked. Yes. <laughs> and what would happen? <laughs> Boom. Yeah, right. Yeah, that, those are the days. That was the day. That was man. Yeah. So we kind of need that at smoke. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, awesome. so, so. Long story short. So, yeah, my craft beer experience has been molded by Good Bodies, by Butterfields with my brother's fake ID. Sorry, Jeff. And the original BCs yeah. at Palm right. and Shaw. Yeah, mm. right here. Uh, yeah, that was just around the corner. Yep. Uh, and then we had. I used to skateboard down at the, the closest one. That's like where I used to oh, grind because yeah. they had the best curbs. And uh, yeah, that's where I cut my crap routine. You know, <laughs> like BCs locally, that that was they were bringing in the first tap takeovers, and then beyond beyond that, like the next one was we would drive to Visalia a lot. Like our crew, 
um, because Kenny, who was who's Kawea, you know, uh, Kenny, who's who was running uh, Howie's, him and his dad, was doing like Sierra Nevada, Bigfoot L tap takeover. So the first like three years, you would have these, you would pay a little bit of money, you get all the side by side the lineups. But this was before any tap takeover was popular. This was like BCs and and Howie were like doing it. Actually, they were doing it. They're yeah. the only two places that are doing a legit like multi tap. I mean, there's some like so you get like like today you get modern times that like uh, tap and seller and other well other, yeah that's you, onesie yeah. twosies right but they were doing an annual yeah 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 all their yeah. special releases like um, you pay like you pay you get in the room for uh, three hours they have a uh, a person a rep talk about the beer. You taste them all together, and they kick you out because there's another two hours of that coming in <laughs> with the next crew. So they, it was really cool because you're taking notes and you're like, like, just like learning everything about like all these barley wines and different things that they're coming out with. Mm. So, oh man, those are man. those are old school so, days. So you, so you guys. Uh, I mean, I have no stories like that, but um, you know, <laughs> that's awesome though. Yeah, you, know, you got your own stories, yeah. and I like those. You guys uh, <laughs> breaking bones and stuff. <laughs> uh, you guys came up like really uh, with the old world styles uh, that that most people nowadays look look over. Yeah, somewhat. Um, uh, if you're a true craft beer nerd, mm. you like all styles. Yeah. I kind of feel mm. nowadays um, there's a certain style that most people go after. Yeah. Um, and they don't like anything else. Um, mm. You know, if you're, if you want to call yourself a craft beer nerd, yeah. Whether it's good or bad, I don't know. Um, you, you're going to try and enjoy all styles. Especially yeah. the old world, which I think is getting forgotten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys, you guys came up with that, and that's fantastic. So, yeah. what was the first beer mm-hmm. that you brewed together? It was probably IPA. It was definitely an IPA. It was an IPA <laughs> that would that enveloped into our eventual West Coast. Um, yeah. We started out with that, and then we wanted to continue to pull out the multi flavor. And over years, we pulled them all out to come up with like the clarity. Back in the day, it was it was our thing, like a, a clean, clear Westy. Uh, we wanted a lot of aroma. We wanted a good uh, amount, maybe 50, 30 to fifty IBUs on the flavor. Mm-hmm. But we just wanted clean, drinkable summer. IPA uh, that just had legs for days, yeah. and so eventually it led into us pulling all of our crystal malts out over years, and and really focusing on, you know, our wheat, oats, and um, and two <clears throat> row varieties and specific additions, specific hops. Well, I'll say so. too, when we started brewing together, you know, I was you know IPAs, mm-hmm. pale, my my tea line and, mm-hmm. and stout. Just your kind of traditional styles of beer. And he was like doing saisons and freaking sours and stuff. And I was like, what the heck? What's your favorite style? I, that's the hard thing. So it is where like people. I mean, I know. Yeah. But I'm going to say my favorite style, if I had to choose one and be dead, uh, it would be, it would be an IPA. Uh, But, but like. Okay. IPA, double IPA, IPA, pale. I'm just gonna stick with IP. IP. Well, <laughs> I will say without a doubt, modern West Coast IPA for me. Yeah. Because classic IPAs, as I was gonna say, uh-huh. I I came in with these cogs of styles. Mm-hmm. He came in with these cogs of styles of beers, and yeah. I kid you not, it was like this. Ducktail. It was weird. And it was like, yeah. holy cow! And so the first time. Because I've gone to the Oregon Brewers Festival probably five times, and a really wonderful festival. And when I was up there one time, went to Widmer Brewers and um, Widmer Brothers and Widmere, Widmere, yeah. and the original wheat beer in the United yeah. States, yep. German style, yep. which right. is amazing. Yeah. Which 
one of our we were, mates. Yeah, we, we we were me and my brother were drinking that in our early twenties. Didn't know what it was, but we were like, this is Sugar. fantastic. Oh, Sugar. So yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, actually, so. our wheat is very inspired by that. Add mm-hmm. and throw some gravy in it, but. I was exposed to a grapefruit grapefruit goes. And I was like, mm. what is this? And they're like, oh, well, it's a coriander, sea salt, uh, grapefruit, mm. sour. Mm. I'm like, yeah. uh, I'll try it. <laughs> and it was summertime. I mean, June and, or it's the first, um, oh gosh. Well, yeah. the first weekend of June or July of every summer is yeah. this Oregon Brewers Festival which I would highly recommend you go it's fantastic right. yeah. so I tasted it and it was tart it was light mm-hmm. it was sour it's and I was like yeah. oh right. my goodness this is so refreshing I want to make one one day but I was yes. you know Trappists and Belgians and yes, Sours yes, yes, yes. and all these I'm like Ugh. so we, we brewed together like two years and I'm like dude I want to make a, a ghost and he's like <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you know that's a sour, right, bro? Now you're like, <laughs> do you sour, bro? And I'm like, yeah. no, but I want to make one. So we made yeah. one, right? Yeah. And this is a great story. So <laughs> I had made uh, some pear cider, and yeah. I had made some pomegranate cider from scratch. So I had some inventory. So in our brew system here at, in the pub, it's, uh, oh gosh, uh, 23 gallons. So we made a ghost, and it was the kettle sour. It was legit. Coriander, sea salt. Oh, great base. Mm-hmm. How are we going to fill this we thought let's put it in a wine barrel mm-hmm. got yeah. a free wine barrel it was a malbec or uh yeah it was, I think it was malbec. malbec yeah it was a malbec nice. yeah right and so i'm like let's top it it's off. it's right there in fact yeah it's actually that right one. there you can yeah, do a that can one. later yeah, that's and that is the actual <laughs> barrel so yeah do it so so right there underneath that fireman's light right oh good yeah, shot yeah that's the one. yeah and everything has a story in here i'll tell you about that <laughs> lamp later if we have time but that's 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 so that's <laughs> I'm like, how are we going to fill it? So we, we topped it off with um, two-thirds pear cider and then one-third of literally home-squeezed pomegranate cider. Blended, which you can't blended. do in a, in a brewery world. No, because really we're still homebrewers yeah, at the time, right? Yeah, we can blend as homebrewers any day. Yeah, so right. we let that age a year in that Malbec wine barrel. Yeah. And I, to this day, I think that is our, like... Yeah. Our, 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 that's our, our, gold our gold standard of yeah, what we right. ever want to produce and just that just yeah. such a high bar yeah <laughs> tell a story about joseph oh yeah yeah, yeah. so so, so we we win the homebrew competition first yeah. year yeah we meet joseph who is the owner and our landlord at 411 yeah and, and he, he's like hey I, uh he's gonna tell a story. Know, he, he hits me up at the thing and, and then he's like hey can we hang out so i have him come here i didn't know he was Trying to open a brewery, obviously there's permit issues, getting yeah. a tap room, blah, 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 expenses, all that yeah. stuff you got to get I into. I remember. Yeah, right? So he comes over, and, uh, <laughs> and and he just now lives down the street, so it's kind of cool. He gets over here more. But uh, yeah, we sat here. Jay was gone, and it was me. And I'm pouring him all of our I'm stuff. Yep. And uh, <laughs> I, I wish I was here. Of course, I, 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 I give him the, 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 the sour, and... And he's he's kind of you know got a, a history in brewing and stuff yeah. and uh, and all of a sudden like he just starts swearing at me and I'm like and I'm just sitting here now nah, I can't take swearing well that's cool but I, I had a hard time reading just this swear side because I'm like do you, like is it bad like uh, do you hate me like it was is it good I don't know he's like he kept sipping it and uh he's like uh so here's the deal like that is one of the i don't that is one of the best i've ever had like that's that's great sour and and then he's like i want you guys as our first kind of incubator like folks there and so we're like okay because we've been trying to like trying to permit this thing here and it was like the county said it's gonna be a hell of a lot of money or whatever and um so yeah, it kind of dovetail, and, and that's how we started. I think you did. I think I, I had your goals. I you think did. you did taste yeah, it too. I yeah. think yeah, and uh, at the time, back, yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, uh, sours have been something I don't really gravitate to now. Sure, I'll have them every now and then. Yeah. But I remember I was like, wow. but you can pick apart like good ones. Yeah, yeah. that's the cool yeah. thing is you're subjective yeah. to not just your palate. Yeah, but this idea of the style and. Yeah. I- Fit the real shit, ask my whole team to bring your words to life.